Well, hi, hello, and welcome to yet another video. Today I'm just playing around with makeup, so I'm going to go from this fresh face to this soft lilac and orchid look. So if that sounds good, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to first start with the eyes and take the Gen C Mixed Metals New Matte Shade in Orchid, and I'm just going to place that over both of my eyelids and buff it out with a fluffy brush for that soft, diffused look. And these are so creamy, so easy to blend out. I absolutely love them. And voila, there we are, beautifully blended. Next, I'm going to take Comet Glitter Pigment from Bodyography. It's purple with a lot of silver, and of course, I've got to add some glitter, so I'm putting that in the inner corners. And then I'm taking my Monochromance palette, and I'm taking the dark purple and basically just lining my lid with that, and taking the same brush I used with that matte shadow and just blending and buffing everything out. I want it to all be really blown out. So I'm also going to take this like my skin tone color and buff out the edges before moving on to the EXA color corrector. I love this stuff and because I'm using purples I really want to knock back the blues with this Angie A506 brush and I love it. And I'm going to take the best skin days skin tint from Iris and Romeo. I'm in the fairest shade and this stuff just gives me such a glossy dewy glow and of course I'm going to follow with their concealer. I have some spots to cover up so this is going to do it for me. It sits so beautifully on top of that skin tint. I love the combo and now I'm going to go in with another new product. This is the new cream bronzer from Phytosurgence. This is the lightest shade and oh my goodness look how neutral it is on my skin tone it is the most skin mimicking bronzer that i've ever seen perfect for no makeup makeup looks and here obviously perfect for my crazy looks another newbie to me is the florence by mills cheeky pop and these are just cute little blush sticks they say you can use them on eyes lips cheeks whatever so i'm going in on the cheeks with it today and they are very pigmented i did have to edit myself a little bit because I love blush, I'm applying it to the cheeks, nose, and the forehead, but I really am enjoying this formula. And now I'm going to go in with my Silk Natural Chiffon Brightening Powder. It is a pale pink powder and it is much more affordable than everything else on the market and it works beautifully. It really does blur out and brighten. I'm also taking that through my brows, so my brow product sticks later on. Love it. I'm going to take the purple highlight in the Undone Beauty Nonzer love this stuff and at first it looks kind of crazy but i go over it with my blush brush with no additional blush just what's left over and really help blend before i go in with the lightest shade and highlight some more areas on the face and underneath my brow this highlighter never looks chunky and the longer it sits the better it looks i love it now i'm going in with the jane iredale pure brow pencil in the shade auburn going to speed you through the process because brows are boring but necessary. I like this pencil a whole whole lot and the difference speaks for itself. I'm also going to use the Pure Brow Gel in the shade Auburn from Jane Iredale. This is a darker red color for me but I really like how fluffy it makes my brows look. Curl the lashes, cry because you pinched your lid. <laughs> my eye was absolutely streaming and right before I went in with the Huda Beauty One Coat Mascara it's supposed to have two different sides, but not me, like, not being able to figure out which side was which, so I just, like, went in. And this mascara is very chunky. It's very wet right now. It is new to me, so here's what one coat looks like. And I really felt the need to take my little lash comb here and brush through it. I don't really think it made that much of a difference, if I'm being super honest, but we'll see. Give it some more time. Now I'm going to take this little pink shade from the Monochromance palette and put it on my lower lash line. Line the lips with Brooklyn Thorn from NYX. This is a super like purple leaning full tone pencil. I love it. I'm going to take the Mob Beauty Cream Lipstick. I'll list the shade below. It's super creamy. In the packaging, you literally can plant it in the ground. It's 100% biodegradable. We love what Mob's doing. Topping it off with some Euphoria Gloss. It looks purple in the tube, but it's basically just glitter, which is what I want to complement the inner corners. And last but not least, I'm going to take this e.l.f. powder foundation. I absolutely love this powder to use as a little magic eraser for my blemishes. By the end of the makeup, pop through 
which, you know, really rude, but this just, poof, erases them. I love it so much. Take out the headband, zhuzh the hair, because that is it. That is the look for today. I hope you enjoyed this really soft, but also a touch of glam kind of orchid look. As always, I appreciate you so very much for watching. And don't forget to check me out on all my other socials. They'll be linked down below. It's Holly Beth Makeup everywhere. As always, my comments section is a safe place if you have any questions. Be blessed and be kind, and we'll speak to each other again very, very soon. Bye!